Let us offer higher education as our war memorial. To honor those who took part in the great war. To the glory of those gallant fighters who came through. And to the memory of those devoted heroes who gave their lives in the cause of freedom. Now, every material asset a person possesses may flee. Education alone is an asset of which an individual cannot be robbed. Welcome to the University of Leicester Summer Degree Ceremonies for the College of Life Sciences and the College of Social Sciences, Arts and Humanities. The ceremony will begin when the academic procession enters the hall. Guests are permitted to take photos and videos, but are kindly asked to remain in their seats throughout the ceremony. Please ensure that any smart devices are in silent mode. You can share your photos and videos on social media using the hashtag LeicesterGrad. Graduands, Please remain seated at the end of the ceremony to receive your certificates. In the unlikely event of an evacuation, please ensure you follow the arrows to the nearest emergency exit and on leaving the building, make your way to the closest designated assembly point. We hope you enjoy the ceremony and on behalf of the University of Leicester family, a huge congratulations to our class of 2023. If you do not wish to shake hands with the presiding officer, please hold your brochure in your hands as you enter the stage. Please stand for the academic procession.
our President and Vice-Chancellor, Professor Nishan Kanagaraja, will now open the ceremony. Graduates, guests, as President and Vice-Chancellor of the University, and by the authority of the Senate and the Council, I declare this congregation open for the conferring of degrees on candidates both present and absent. Please be seated. Lord Mayor of Leicester, Chairman of Harbour District Council, graduates, guests, my university colleagues, welcome. I'm delighted to welcome you to our summer graduation ceremony. Welcome also to those who are watching this ceremony online, on the big screens on the campus, or indeed anywhere in the world. This is the moment you've been waiting for, at least your loved ones have. For most of you, it marks transition from student to graduate, and for others, from graduate to postgraduate. You gain new letters after your name, and brace yourself for endless photos. At least one of them will sit on a mantelpiece for years to come. Graduation ceremonies are one of the most important occasions in the university. They represent a time when we all come together as one community to mark publicly the efforts and dedication that you have shown in completing your degrees. As part of this occasion, you will take part in the tradition of crossing the platform and receiving your claim. Doing that publicly in front of your family, supporters, and your lecturers and other members of university staff make it all the more meaningful. It gives us, as a university, the opportunity to celebrate academic excellence. And it gives family, friends, and supporters the opportunity to celebrate with you. I look forward to congratulating you on your achievements. You're all about to become proud ambassadors of University of Leicester and go out in the world as citizens of change. Congratulations to you all. We encourage you to show your appreciation for all our graduates as they cross the stage. But whilst we call their name, we kindly ask you to keep as quiet as possible, please. President and Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the College of Life Sciences, I, Professor Natalie Armstrong, present the following candidates for their awards. For the degree of Doctor of Medicine, for a thesis entitled Novel Cardiovascular Magnetic Resonance Imaging Techniques to Predict Exercise Capacity and Prognosis in Non-Ischemic Dilated Cardiomyopathy, Benjamin Marrow. <laughs> for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, for a thesis entitled, An Investigation of How Manipulation of Mycobacterium Tuberculosis Lipid Body Content Impacts Early Infection of Macrophages, Sheikha Al-Batli. For a thesis entitled, Multimodality Assessment of Myocardial Deformation, A Comparison Between Transthoracic Echocardiography, and cardiovascular magnetic resonance imaging, Asil Alphahide. For a thesis entitled Investigating the Roles of HDAC1 and 2 in Regulating the Embryonic Stem Cell Acetylome, Ahmed Al Sheri.
for a thesis entitled Analysis of the Role of CDK1, Cyclin B, and Bax in Mitotic Checkpoint-Induced Apoptosis, Iman Hassan Al-Asheri. For a thesis entitled P-Wave Analysis in Cryo-Balloon Ablation and Radiofrequency Ablation in Paroxysmal Atrial Fibrillation, Ibrahim Antoun. For a thesis entitled Novel Biomarkers for Heart Failure, a Proteomic Approach, Shimon Atunde. For a thesis entitled Unveiling the Structural Mechanisms of the Okazaki Fragment Processing Pathway, Kerry Blair. For a thesis entitled Investigating the Expression of D-Type Cyclins in Diffuse Large B-Cell Lymphoma, Daniel Bowden. For a thesis entitled Phylogenetic Analysis of Cancer Evolution in Malignant Pleural Mesothelioma to Identify Driver Genes, Lee Brannan. For a thesis entitled Epigenetic Properties of Reproduction and Aging in Hymenoptera, Christiana Brink. For a thesis entitled Investigating the Role of Lysine-Specific Demethylase 1 in Embryonic Development Using a Gastroloid Model System, Megan Broderick. For a thesis entitled Exploring the Function of Cry and its Transcriptomic Context in Drosophila Melag Melanogaster, Aurora Capillon. For a thesis entitled Single Molecule Dynamics of Human Mitochondrial Transcription, Rory Cunnison. For a thesis entitled Structural Insights into the 3D Genome Folding and Expression, Leonardo Falletto. For a thesis entitled Investigating RPF Dependency in Mycobacteria, Brinda Gap Galpool. For a thesis entitled The Interactions of Invasive Bacteria with Tissue Resident Macrophages, Ryan Hames. For a thesis entitled Comparative Effectiveness of Sodium Glucose Co-Transporter 2 Inhibitors and Glucagon-like Peptide 1 Receptor Agonists in Type 2 Diabetes, Randomized and Real-World Evidence, Humaira Hussein. <laughs> For a thesis entitled Exploring the Relationship Between Care Provided and Clinical Outcomes for Preterm Babies, born between 27 and 31 weeks of gestation in England, Abdul Kader Ishmael. For a thesis entitled, Detecting Clonal Structural Alterations from Multi-Regional Profiling of Malignant Pleural Mesothelioma, Maimon Jama. For a thesis entitled, The Interaction Between Pathogenic Bacteria and Tissue-Specific Host Response in Invasive Disease and Pathogenesis, Zudruni Yasunete. For a thesis entitled, Pioneering of Antibody-Assisted Structure-Based Drug Discovery for PDL1, Tara Kang Pettinger. Well 
for a thesis entitled Using Electronic Healthcare Records to Understand the Interplay Between Symptoms, Disease Diagnosis and Long-Term Health Outcomes, Irvi Kasanji. For a thesis entitled Structural Insights into DNA Lagging Strand Replication and Translesion Synthesis, Claudia Lancy. For a thesis entitled Development and Translation of Mass Spectrometry in the Fields of Non-Adherence and COVID-19, Daniel Lane. For a thesis entitled Investigation of Novel Biomarkers of Coronary Artery Calcification Using Mass Spectrometry-Based Plasma Proteomics, Colleen Maxwell. For a thesis entitled Unraveling the Nature of Physical Frailty and Sarcopenia in Acute and Chronic Respiratory Disease, Hamish McCauley. For a thesis entitled Step Cadence and Sedentary Behaviour, Developing the Links to Physical Function and Glucose Control, Phil McBride. For a thesis entitled The Role of Physical Activity on Physical Function in Adults with Type 2 Diabetes with Application to COVID-19, Monica Makute. For a thesis entitled The Impact of Diet-Induced Obesity on Allergic Lung Inflammation in Murine Models of Asthma, Mawa Mohammed. For a thesis entitled, Elucidating the Role of Mycobacterial Resuscitation Promoting Factors in Stress Response and Metal Acquisition, Mariam Mohamed Noor. For a thesis entitled, Alternative Methods for Increasing Physical Activity in the Treatment of Peripheral Artery Disease, Low Pain Exercise and Breaking Up Sitting Time, Gemma Perks. For a thesis entitled, The Impact of Air Pollution on Respiratory Bacteria in Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease, Lily Purser. For a thesis entitled, Statistical Methods for Survival Analysis in Large-Scale Electronic Health Records Research, James Schmidt. For a thesis entitled, Single Cell Sequencing to Investigate Metabolic Stress in the Pathology of Organ Injury Following Cardiac Surgery, Sophia Shake. For a thesis entitled, Evidence Synthesis Methods to Evaluate the Effectiveness of Complex Public Health Interventions with Multiple Intervention Components, Alicia Smith. For a thesis entitled, A Structural and Biochemical Insight into RAS-Mediated Activation of Small G-Protein GEF, Michelle Tariq. For a thesis entitled, Multi-Platform Studies of a Pro-Fibrotic Network in IPF, Paige Tung. For a thesis entitled, Molecular Profiling of Circulating Tumor DNA in Aggressive Lymphoid Malignancies, Christopher Chithui. For a thesis entitled, A Study of Life Years Lost and Care Pathways in People with Learning Disabilities, a Real World Observational Study, Freya Tyra. For a thesis entitled, Cytokines, Chemokines and Their Receptors in Regulation of Responses to Anti-Cancer Therapies in NSCLC, Amy Vaughan. Well 
for a thesis entitled Type 2 Diabetes in Women After a Diagnosis of Gestational Diabetes, Understanding Uptake to Screening, Progression Rates and Costs Using Evidence Synthesis Methodologies, Elpida Bunzulaki. For a thesis entitled Heart Failure in Type 2 Diabetes and the Impact of Lifestyle Interventions, Grace Walters. For the degree of Master of Philosophy, Sudipta Mu. For the degree of Master of Research in Clinical Sciences, Sarah Jane Messida. Sushila Devi Natarajan. Congratulations, Sushila. Well done. Samantha Wu. Congratulations, Samantha. Well done. For the degree of Master of Science in Diabetes, Irene Annan. Congratulations, Irene. Well done. Binod Chathanath Baskaran. Melanie Curtis. Congratulations, Melanie. Well done. Natalie Jordan. Well done, Natalie. Congratulations. Maria Narona. Congratulations, Maria. Laura Robinson. Congratulations, Laura. For the degree of Master of Science in Infection and Immunity, Rishita Bogala. For the degree of Master of Science in Medical Statistics, Anne Brees Joseph Konkoth. For the degree of Master of Science in Molecular Genetics, Thikashitha Sanaboyna. For the degree of Master of Science in Postmortem Radiology for Natural and Forensic Death Investigation, Cheryl Main. For the degree of Master of Science in Quality and Safety in Healthcare, Maurizio Passariello. Linda Wilson. For the postgraduate diploma in diabetes, Erica Adzani. For the postgraduate diploma in medical statistics, Tanatswa Racy. For the degree of Master of Biological Sciences in Medical Biosciences, Biochemistry, Mofaro Masukure. For the degree of Master of Biological Sciences in Medical Biosciences, Microbiology, Angelica Alexander. For the degree of Master of Biological Sciences in Medical Biosciences, Physiology, Charlie Hugel. For the degree of Master of Science in Natural Sciences, Life and Physical Sciences, Sarah Hume. Well done, Sarah. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences, Sumaya Aden. Congratulations, Sumaya Aden. Ali Ashby. Well done, Ali. Simranjit Baljit. Well done, Alfred Barlow. Congratulations, Alfred. Nabiha Bashaudin. Well done, Nabiha. Manjot Birdie. 
Congratulations, President. Mohamed Boutrek. Joseph Breeden. Well done, Jesse. Jenny Brooks. Well done, Jenny. Yusuf Chowdhury. Congratulations, Yusuf. Well done. Christopher Coleman. Well done, Christopher. James Cutts. Owen Doody. Well done, Owen. Laura Dunn. Congratulations, Laura. Sandra George. Congratulations, Sandra. India Hale. Well done, India. Mohammed Hussein. Matilda Kakenji. Congratulations, Matilda. Guy Kendall Muniesa. Well done, Guy. Danate Michael. Congratulations, Danate. Well done. Angel on Woody Way. Well done, Angel. Congratulations. Dimitra Ofanu. Congratulations, Dimitra. Kezia Owusu Dankwa. Well done, congratulations. Shyam Palmer. Well done, Shyam, congratulations. Maria Paspata. Congratulations, Maria, well done. Jaden Pathanaya. Well done, Jaden. Congratulations. Kieran Petty. Well done, Kieran. Congratulations. Pooja Rajaratnam. Well done, Pooja. Congratulations. Danny Rowe. Congratulations, Danny. Hassan Salim. Salah Salim. Nadine Siobadu. Cameron Sidhu. Jennifer Skelland. Elia Stag. Congratulations, Elia. Grace Stedman. Well done, Grace. Emis Sigeti. Congratulations, Elia. Well done. Lintu Tom. Well done, Lintu. Congratulations. Rohin Upal. Well done, Ryan. Congratulations. Rio J. Valmont. Congratulations, well done. Charlotte Fan. Well done, Charlotte. Congratulations. Ashik Vagis Shibu. Congratulations, Ashik. Well done. Grace Whaley. Yunfei Shu. Well done, Yunfei. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences with a year abroad, Charles Holt. Well done, Charles. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences with a year in Industry, Amelia Corvin Charnodolsky. Muskan Jonathan. 
Congratulations, Ms. Well done. Bernice Mangundo. Well done, Bernice. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences, Biochemistry, Maria Ahmed. Well done, Maria. Saida Hussein. Esther Jacob. Ewan Larwood. Fatumu Ma'aawi. Elizabeth Topping. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences, Genetics, Dominikas Momokas. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences, Genetics with a Year Abroad, Lewis Toole. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences, Microbiology, Eman Ahmed. William Clayden Smith. Gunjun Jayaprasad. Sophie Kwok. Congratulations, Sophie. Raymond Liu. Well done, Raymond. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences, Microbiology, with a year abroad, Stephanie Wangboje Mukoya. Congratulations, Stephanie. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences, Neuroscience, Drishti Bassi. Congratulations, well done. Esther Burko. Well done, Esther, congratulations. Leiba Ejaz. Alexander Everest Green. Georgios Fotiu. Eman Gill. Alyssa Hammond. Ewan Hogarth. Olivia Holmes. Keshana Jayasilan. Denit Kaur. Isabel Kelly. Well done, Christabel Marianne Kwame. Well done. Travis Lee. Well done, Travis. Amber Martin. Rufina Martins de Jesus. Kiara O'Leary. Isaac Onikeku. Joseph Osadebi.
Maria Pavlova. Pooja Purohit. Congratulations to you. Nicole Stevens. Well done, Nicole. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences Neuroscience with a year in Industry, Juliana Oliveira. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences, Physiology with Pharmacology, Karina Dewitt. Qingyan Luk. Angel Obiarose. Kian Scallon. Well done, Kian. Gabriel Omeru. Congratulations, Gabriel. Malinda Wirokodi Archige. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences, Zoology, William Clark. Philippa Staffer. Congratulations, Philippa. Henry Turner. Well done, Henry. Congratulations. Yannick Wilson. Well done, Yannick. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Clinical Sciences, Felicia Opong. Imaz Saif. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Biochemistry, Hagar Abdallah. John Abraham. Amina Ahmed. Parvin Ahmed. Lubna Al Amri. Natasha Beasley. Reem Benayam. Thomas Bingham. Emily Curtis Jones. Anya Damji. Elizabeth Egundebi. Ward Equas. Charlotte Else. Rukhaya Faisal Mohammed. Bisma Gafur. Rohan Hara. Falak Hussein. Nikita Kalidas. Michelle Candier. Samuel Kusht Allah. Congratulations, Samuel. 
for them. Maximilian Lester. Tasfia Mahmood. Ilias Majid. Jasmine Munoz. Joy Engolube. Tharushi Pinolawatije Dorna. Congratulations, Tharushi. Amrik Punyi. Congratulations, Amrik. Aaron Sandu. Congratulations, Aaron. Itohan Sele. Zara Shamsha. Congratulations, Zara. Jake Sherrick. Congratulations, Jake. Maria Tony. Well done, Maria. Congratulations. Lena Wasim. Joanne Yogendra. Congratulations, Joanne. Well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Biochemistry with a year in Industry, Carolina Stainchik. Congratulations, Carolina. Well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Genetics, Leila Al Khteshat. Lashonda Andrew. Well done, Lashonda. Congratulations. Elvina Anibata. Congratulations, Elvina. Well done. Crystal Carr. Congratulations, Crystal. Well done. Dorcas Frobor. Fahia Hassan. Well Khalid Ishmael. Well done, Rania Karaje. Well Ruman Khalid. Shafil Khan. Well done, Shafil. Congratulations. Amy Lewis. Congratulations, Amy. Molly Lord. Well done, Molly. Congratulations. Ikran Mohammed. Ashley Pancholi. Congratulations, Ashley. Abigail Warham. Well done, Abigail. Lucy Webster. Well done, Lucy. Laura Wright. Well done, Laura. Congratulations. Aniela Vrubleska. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Genetics with a year in Industry, Dominika Lubavska. Congratulations, Dominika. Well done. Christos Mavromatis. Well done, Christos. Bethany Ward. Congratulations, Bethany. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Microbiology, Mohamed Umar Badat. Well done, Mohamed. Well done, 
Adam Bailey. Well done, Adam. Congratulations. Freya Bowden. Georgia Callahan. Tia Doe. Congratulations, Tia. Charlie Finn. Congratulations, Charlie. Hafsa Hashim. Tejas Ayer. Nathan Kerrigan. Well done, Nathan. Ellen McCreel. Congratulations, Ellen. Rosalie Chico Oakbourne. Well done, Rosalie. Morad Wahani. Sidra Shakil. Congratulations, well done. Devon Webster. Well done, congratulations, well done. Rafael Ibanez. Well done, Rafael. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Microbiology with a year abroad, Katie Subani. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Physiology, Jacqueline Adjay. Congratulations, Jacqueline. Fatima Anwar. Well done, Fatima. Odeta Balsara. Congratulations, well done. Jasmine Beach. Bonita Benjamin Fernandez. Congratulations, Bonita. Well done. Amy Brown. Well done, Amy. Congratulations. Ellie Brushett. Congratulations, Ellie. Well done. Amy Cheatham. Congratulations, Amy. Well done. Katie Choi. Well done, Katie. Congratulations. Rosalind Elliott. Well done, Rosalind. Laura Emerton. Well done, Laura. Arden Greenway. Well done, Arden. Scott Grint. Karis Hannibal. Congratulations, Karis. Well done. Oliver Ingram. Well done, Oliver. Sumaya Islam. Well done, Sumaya. Hashali Gentilal. Hari Jita. Aina Kote. Well done, congratulations. Isaac Lewis. Well done, Isaac, congratulations. Sue Liu. Congratulations, well done. Cameron Masters. Helen Morlod. Congratulations. Milen Mizgan. Well done, congratulations. Callum Mooney. Well done, Callum. 
Lawo Mpafe. Joanna Namboya. Junior Darul Ngesu. Mohamed Ngie. Jack Partridge. Well done, Jack. Jennifer Pasco. Well done, Jennifer. Dwani Patel. Well done, Dwani. Zainab Patel. <laughs> Carmen Valeria Pokol. Esther Popula. Well done, Esther. Bibi Rashid. <laughs> Unzila Rashid. <laughs> Ariba Sadia. Malak Sadka. Samad Salim. Anisa Salibello. Sharon Salfo Edo. Anik Schenk. <laughs> Sne Shashikant. <laughs> Emilia Swaffer. <laughs> Halima Takolia. Z Tang Asma Targoni Rashi Tonk Ava Tomlinson Kevin Torion. Congratulations, Kevin. Well done. Zara UK. Congratulations, Zara. Well done. Elizabeth Yaxley. Well done, Elizabeth. Congratulations. Adchaya Yogentharan. Congratulations, Adchaya. Well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Physiology with a year abroad, Claudia Aneli. Congratulations, Claudia. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Physiology with a year in Industry, Abby Hayes. Congratulations, Abby. Well done. Alexandra Odamite. Anu Oluwapo Olaloku. Well 
for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Natural Sciences, Life and Physical Sciences, Madeline Coles. Congratulations, Madeline. Well done. Callum Davidson. Well done, Callum. Congratulations. Gurleen Gakol. Salem Isebe. President and Vice-Chancellor, as public orator, may I, Professor Graham Shipley, present Cynthia Ganesh Panchan, a candidate for an honorary degree. In the Town Hall Square of Leicester, adjacent to the historic Methodist Chapel in Bishop Street, is the headquarters of the Cynthia Trust, which runs an advice centre, a community shop, and an enterprise hub that is also home to a social enterprise that provides sanitary products and menstrual health education. Its founder and head is our honorand, Cynthia Ganeshpanchan. The charity provides information, advice, and practical support to alleviate poverty and abuse. One former client records, when I first went to the trust, I was facing eviction and losing contact with my children. I was at my lowest point. Their comprehensive support has given me my life back, and my well-being has improved considerably as a consequence. Often the women whom the trust most frequently helps come forward for help with nothing. They may have suffered domestic violence and fled their home, leaving all their financial security and possessions behind. In one case, the trust managed to achieve legal protection for the client and secured the writing off of over 20,000 pounds of debts, which were not of her own making. Another client, who arrived in the UK after an arranged marriage, received accommodation and practical help from the trust, and secured protection from her abusive partner, was helped to find skills and language training, and is now employed and financially independent. But the charity's services are open to everyone and include financial advice, food resources, furnishings, and skilled work placements according to need. In recent years, it has run campaigns on preventing violence against women and girls and reducing child poverty in Leicestershire. The Trust's vision, to create a society where people can be free from abuse and poverty. Its mission, to support people to live without the fear of violence and abuse, to provide practical support, to reduce poverty and isolation among vulnerable people, to help people transform their lives through education, skills development and employment, to support people to achieve their aspirations and lead fulfilling lives. There are, of course, many charities operating in these areas, but what makes the Cynthia Trust remarkable is the range of impact that it achieves with just 18 staff, some part-time, plus many volunteers, and a relatively modest annual turnover of £800,000, though this has more than doubled in the past four years. As examples of its local work, in 2020 it provided over 3,000 food parcels and 2,000 sanitary packs within Leicestershire in the first seven months of the pandemic. In 2021 alone, the Trust helped 3,000 beneficiaries and funded over 5,000 nights of emergency accommodation for women fleeing domestic abuse. Beyond offering refuge and emergency support, it enables people, especially women, to develop their skills and employability, 
so that they can lead an independent and fulfilled life. Thanks to Cynthia Ganesh Panchan's business acumen, the trust works in a highly original way. To fund this work, Cynthia, who admits that she had never run a business of any kind before she set up the trust, has developed trading ventures, media partnerships, and business links that have, that have made her a renowned social entrepreneur, not just a fundraiser. Grants and prestigious awards have piled up. The Trust was one of two community-led projects in 2021 to win contracts from the UK Community Renewal Fund to develop its employability and enterprise project for women from minority backgrounds. In the same year, it won a BizX National Award, an East Midlands Chamber of Business Award, a Niche Business Award, and a Leicestershire Community Champions Award. While two years before, Cynthia personally received an outstanding BAME Female Leader Prize at the East Midlands Women's Awards. In 2023, Cynthia also won the BizX Award for Best CEO and the Real Entrepreneurs Award for Entrepreneurial Spirit. What motivated Cynthia Ganesh Panchan to devote so many years to this charitable work alongside her own family responsibilities. Growing up in Sri Lanka in a time of civil conflict, she saw the deep inequalities in society and the sufferings of women above all, and how it was almost impossible to alleviate them. When she came to England, first to East London, then the West Midlands and Newcastle-upon-Tyne, and finally, in 2006, to Leicester, she seized the opportunity to work to change the lives of people around her. After 14 years, the trust never stands still. Cynthia personally supports small women's organizations in different parts of the UK, as well as charitable organizations in Sri Lanka and Nepal. The social enterprise she founded promotes menstrual health training, identifies micro-funders to support women in rural communities with loans to set up small enterprises, develops local schools and libraries, promotes access for disabled people, and many other activities. Much of the success of this work is due to its face-to-face -face nature and its close connection with grassroots organization. Cynthia's personal enthusiasm and charisma help the Trust to forge links with well-resourced bodies and agencies in the UK and abroad the aim being to build capacity in other organizations and allow their projects to become self-sustaining. Cynthia holds a master's in social and cultural theory from Staffordshire University and was for six years a research associate at the University of Loughborough's Midlands Center for Criminology and Criminal Justice. She is a director and board member of several charities and social enterprises and a fellow of the Claw Duffield Social Foundation the School of Social Entrepreneurs, the Royal Society of Arts, and the Winston Churchill Memorial Trust. Alongside her astonishing range of achievements, she has published a book on women and conflict in Sri Lanka, as well as several other book chapters, yet still finds time to read widely and network with enthusiasm. Today we honor her for her outstanding contribution to the well-being of disadvantaged groups within Leicestershire. She is best known for her work supporting women in danger. But as she herself says, to help women is to help all of society. And we celebrate her for that as well. President and Vice-Chancellor, on the recommendation of the Senate and Council, I present Cynthia Ganesh Panchan that you may confer upon her the honorary degree of Doctor of Laws. President, Vice-Chancellor, fellow graduates, dignitaries, 
ladies and gentlemen. I'm most privileged to receive this honorary doctorate from the university that has a long history of supporting thousands of students to achieve their dreams and lead fulfilling lives. But most importantly, I'm also proud for the city it holds and the city which I call myself home now. Today, I share this day with men and women from all walks of life who have spent several hard years working towards achieving your dreams. This is your day too, and I congratulate all of you for that. Stepping into the world of work, many of you will be looking to build a career in your chosen fields, only where you, not only where you can receive a, a financial gratification, but will also be wanting to make change. Often, when you don't see immediate results in the work you do, there's a tendency for you to lose hope and lose your passion. Let, my, let me remind you that change is hard. It's slow and painful, but it can be achieved. Real change, when achieved, will build the wealth in, your, in our communities, and will, it will no, leave no one behind. And that is the aim of the Cynthia Trust and myself, to support our community by creating a place where all can call home. And no matter where you are, you can do the same. A community is only good as the people who call it home. If we continue to forget the uh, proportion of our community, or uh, those who are left behind, then change will never happen. Therefore, I believe, no matter whichever career you choose today, or whichever community you live, whichever country you belong to, you all can make change. And if you consider that your responsibility, we all can together make that change happen and build our communities. It is our responsibility to create that society where we all want to live. With these thoughts in mind, I proudly but honorably stand here accepting this honorary doctorate with you, but also thanking everybody who helped me to achieve this, my family, my friends, my colleagues, and all involved in the university. And I wish you all the very best, and thank you. Pro-Chancellor, on behalf of the College of Social Sciences, Arts and Humanities, I, Professor Chris Wilkins, present the following candidates for their degrees. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, for a thesis entitled Emotional Engagement Amongst Anxious Language Learners from the Perspective of Flow, an exploratory study in a university classroom in Saudi Arabia, Haydad Al-Kamalad. For a thesis entitled Dressing for Adventure on the West Florida Frontier, Joshua Charles. Well done, Joshua. For a thesis entitled Exhibitionary Spaces in Japanese Art, 1860s to 1970s, Models, Terminologies and Territories, Yang Chung. For a thesis entitled Evaluating the Effectiveness of English Course Book Speaking Activities for develop Developing Libyan Secondary School T Learners Oral Fluency, Fatma El Shigmani. <laughs> For
for a thesis entitled A New Materialist Approach to Understanding Post-Roman Urban Emergence, a study of Ipswich, AD 600 to 900. Brendan Fathy. For a thesis entitled The Prehistoric Settlement Landscapes of Mayo, The Evidence and Impact of Development-Led Archaeology. Bernard Guyon. For a thesis entitled Female University Students, Social Media and Patriarchy in Algeria, a Narrative Study. Khadija Kalalesh. For a thesis entitled Designing Evaluation of Museum Digital Technology for Visitors, a focus on school groups. Xin Yanling. For a thesis entitled A Critical Study of Male Western Muslim Expatriate Teachers' Perceptions of Educational Leadership Practices in a Saudi Arabian University Preparatory Year English Language Program. Humza Malik. For a thesis entitled The Effectiveness of Formal and Traditional Learning about Climate and Disaster Resilience in Vanuatu, Charles Pierce. For a thesis entitled The Dual Functions versus the Family Purda and Privacy, Architectural Analyses of the Sethi Havalis in Peshawar, Pakistan. 19th to early 20th century AD. Abid Raymond. For a thesis entitled Mapping Brazilian Art in Collections Across the UK. Aloisa Rodriguez. For a thesis entitled Food, Identity and Humoral Theory in Early Modern England, a case study from Leicestershire, Rachel Small. Rachel, well done. For a thesis entitled From Moral Indoctrination to Moral Experience, an experiential model for promoting middle school children's moral education in Chinese museums, Yan Peng Song. For a thesis entitled Digging the Crowd, Brendan Wilkins. Well done, Congratulations. Well done. For a thesis entitled The Ethos of the Church of Ireland Primary Schools, The Student Voice, Jacqueline Wilkinson. For a thesis entitled To Design an Enterprise in Contemporary China, A New Role for Museums and Heritage, Ling Ling Xia. <laughs> for the degree of Master of Arts in Applied Linguistics and TESOL, Nihad Al Balushi. Claudia Fandez Rossi. Well done. Well done. Shannon Smith. Well done. Omar Tinajero. Well well For the degree of Master of Arts in Archaeology and Heritage, Katharina Grutz. Jonathan Lipsitz. <laughs> Victoria McEwen. <laughs> Henrik Nolte. <laughs> Matthew Stead. For the degree of Master of Arts in Heritage and Interpretation, Emma Robinson. Emma, well 
for the degree of Master of Arts in International Education, Innovation and Reform, Chloe Rujan Tay. For the degree of Master of Arts in International Education, Leadership for Social Justice in Education, Tona Ginu. Well done. Gosia Rabnawaz. For the degree of Master of Arts in Museum Studies, Dana Bailing. Gemma Bainan. Jill Burrell. Eva Herliman. Abby Jeffrey. Nora Martin Martin. Jada Pasquilini. Well done. Juliet Ray. Harry Sloggett. Rosalind Thurborn. For the degree of Master of Arts in Socially Engaged Practice in Museums and Galleries, Isabel Gibbons. For the degree of Master of Arts in TESOL, Harjit Kaur. For the degree of Master of Science in Educational Leadership, Safura Kasim. Fabian Anik. Osehise Ibawo. James McNulty. Anne McCose. Antoine Spitari. Caroline Waring. For the degree of Master of Science in Museum Studies, Lawrence Kinnisley. For the Postgraduate Diploma in Museum Studies, Wing Si Chung. Congratulations, well For the degree of Postgraduate Certificate in Education Primary, Mohamed Boudou. Well Caroline Stanley. Rakaya Magda. For the Postgraduate Certificate in Education International, Adelisa Young. For the Postgraduate Certificate in Museum Studies, Rena Pershk. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Ancient History, Chloe Cummings. Very well done. Harry Lester. Well done, Harry. Victor Piella. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Ancient History with a year abroad, Grace Taylor. Well 
for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Ancient History and Archaeology, Oliver Bennett. Amy Blackwell. Well done. Well done. Well done. Oliver Goodwin. Well done. Well done. Well done. Naomi Hayward. Well done, Isabel Skemp. Alexander Smith. Well done, Alexander. Bronwyn Smith. Well done. Honor Staples. Congratulations, well done, well done. Benjamin Ward. Charlotte White Hughes. Charlotte, well done. Gabrielle Woolley. Congratulations, well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Ancient History and Archaeology with a year abroad, Matthew James. Rebecca Nix. Well done, Rebecca. Well done, well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Ancient History and Classical Archaeology, Jennifer Padell. Jennifer, well done. Congratulations. Rose Sivans. Rose, well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Ancient History and History, Kaya Coverson. Well done, congratulations. Katie Marie Davis. Well done, congratulations. Thank you. Elliot Hardwick. Mayronisa Raja. Congratulations, well done, well done. Myra Sadiq. Well done, Myra, congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Archaeology, James Bark. James, well done, congratulations. Beverly Dobb. Arthur Saunders. Arthur, well done. And Amy Wilkins. Amy, congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Archaeology, Amy Allenson. Amy, well done, well done. Angel Anderson. Jade Fretter. Congratulations, well done. Florence Hall. Florence, well done. Congratulations. Thomas Fawn. Thomas, well done. Well done. For the postgraduate certificate in education, school centred initial teacher training, Abian, Abial. Abdul Kada. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences Neuroscience, Adeda Molo Agabiandi. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Physiology, Yaini Lemin. Well 
for the degree of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, Kevin Ng. And for the degree of Master of Arts in Socially Engaged Practice in Museums and Galleries, Sina Aisa. Prachi Bhatt, Education Officer of the Students' Union, will now address the congregation. I know you all are eager to celebrate with your family and friends, so I won't take much of your time. First of all, congratulations, you've made it. Graduation is all about tradition, it's the gowns and hats, the ceremony and speeches. But if you remove all the pomp and circumstance, you're left with the most important thing, that is you and your achievement. There will be a lot of talk today about what are you doing or where you are going, but you should be so proud of yourself right now for getting here, and we should take a moment to reflect on how you got here. From movie nights and accommodation to sunbathing in Victoria Park, from late nights to early mornings in Let's Disco, all the hours spent studying in the library, another year beating DMU at varsity, trying to work out teams, or even worse, Blackboard Collaborate. These are all parts of your university life that got you where you are today. This might have been your first time in Leicester, maybe even the country, just like me. But wherever your journey started, I hope you're happy now and that you can say that the, your, the University of Leicester was a part of it. It's where you've made friends for life, had housemates you love, had housemates who never did the dishes, teammates and coastmates. Here you found your feet, your confidence and yourself. And that is who you get to go out into the world as, a proud member of our alumni community. So amidst all the free fizz and cake, take the time today to remember all the little things that got you where you are, the loved ones who supported you along the way, and hold tight to the fact that you've achieved something brilliant and deserve to enjoy the moment. Congratulations, keep in touch, and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Congratulations. What a triumph today has been for you and your loved ones. You have graduated from the University of Leicester. Congratulations. You have applauded each other and have been recognized by your peers as well as your loved ones. Now is the time to soak it all in. Remember this moment. It is a rite of passage and places a marker in your life as you move forward to new ventures. That may be to further study or into the world of work. That world is changing at a rapid pace. Instead of jobs for life, which would have been true just a generation or two ago, there is a world of opportunity. Now people will not only change jobs, they may change careers, as well as location to suit their lifestyles. According to McKinsey Global Institute report this year, one in 16 workers may have to switch occupations by 2030, and the pandemic has accelerated workforce transitions. The adoption of digital technologies, including automation and AI, is accelerating. New behaviors shaped by social media and the web, the influx of millennials into the workforce, globalization, and shifting attitudes to work and mobility are all having an impact. Change is constant. Our role has been to prepare you to make the most of the opportunities that will present themselves. So don't stop learning, be flexible, adaptable, resilient, and grab opportunities. Don't settle for mediocrity. You have it in you to challenge and disrupt the status quo. To quote Terry Pratchett, a famous author, stories of imagination tend to upset those without one. As University of Leicester graduates, you're well prepared Cast your minds back to the time you came to Leicester and reflect upon how far you've come. You have been enriched through your time here by your education, 
your experiences and your knowledge. Through the friends you have made, the new skills and the knowledge you have gained, the exposure to new thinking, you have grown as individuals. You have developed skills that will provide a bedrock for your future, helping you to grow further and flourish. In the next phase of your lives, you will use the skills you have acquired and your talent to make an impact and be one of our citizens of change. You have it in you to succeed. In our extraordinary graduate, Cynthia Ganesh Panchan, we have an example of someone who has demonstrated that fact. She's a great role model for our students and graduates and postgraduates, showing how social enterprise can make a big difference in a society to people's lives. A story of imagination, educational achievement, and entrepreneurship, and success speak to the values of this university. Just as your friendships with your fellow students will be lifelong, so your relationship with the university does not end today. You hold a qualification in one of the top universities in the country, and I'm sure that will stand you in good stead in making success of your chosen careers or further study. As you embark upon your various journeys, all fast to our values. As a university, we are proud to be inclusive, inspiring, and impactful. Be all of these things and more. Continue to be ambitious and strive for more by advancing knowledge and increasing understanding. Keep learning. Education never ceases, so keep that spark alive. Today is not the culmination of your education, but the springboard to new success and a new quest for knowledge. And be humane. If life and education has taught me anything, it is this. Our humanity is defined by our compassion. We cannot make progress as a society unless that progress is real for everyone. So be kind along life's journey and learn to give back. Success is defined not by how many people you climb over to reach the top, but by how many people you help, help along the way to reach your destination. It has been an absolute honor and pleasure to be with you this afternoon. This is our final summer uh, celebrations. It has all gone very well. We have awarded 4,393 4, degrees, with 3,172 of them in attending uh, our ceremonies from 95 different nationalities. Our oldest graduate was 82 years old, and our youngest, 19 years old. None of this would be possible without many people working behind the scenes to make this a success. I would like to thank them. I'm incredibly proud of the ceremonies that we held this summer. But many people have worked tirelessly to make this a success. The marshals, the stage marshals and the floor marshals, the events team, the catering team, the security staff, the gardeners, making our gardens, campus looks beautiful, porters, cleaners, those who read the names of the presenters and orators, and of course, the people in this hall, the Montford Hall, who have made the audiovisual all work well. Can I ask you to join me in thanking them for the part they played to make a huge success? <laughs> Graduates, can I ask you to stand up, please? We as a university community are incredibly proud of what you have achieved. You have studied through some unprecedented challenging times with COVID, especially disruption to your studies, being flexible, adapting your learning style. Many of you doing, receiving your PhD awards it would have been a challenging time completing your PhD during that time. We applaud you for what you have achieved and persisting and persevering and achieving your goal. So we want to congratulate you. Can I ask everybody in the hall to show our appreciation to the class of 2023.
and can I now ask the class of 2023 to show your appreciation for all those who made a, played a part in your success, your family, your loved ones. No, I haven't finished yet. I haven't finished yet. And all those who are here and those who may not be here watching online, you can turn around and look at your family and friends and show them your appreciation for what they have done to achieve this. Thank you very much. Can I now ask everybody in the hall to please stand for the final time in the ceremony? I would like to end the ceremony with a quote from Mark Twain, which I think is appropriate for this occasion. 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than the ones that you did do. So throw off the bowlines, sail away from the same harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover. I declare this congregation closed. Please can everyone remain standing while the academic procession leaves the hall. Graduates, please then be seated to receive your certificates.